Okay, so phase two of the uh, bonus room renovation. I figured I would do an update. Gotten quite a bit done, I think, since the last time we did a, a quick walk through here. So I'll try to keep it short, but uh, go through everything that I've done. Uh, you'll see the door I'm working on here. I'm refurbishing all these doors, and I'll have a separate video on that that uh, I'll post up, and I'll put a link at the top when I do get that, that finished. These are some old, crappy holocore doors that we're upscaling a little bit to make them look nicer. But uh, so last time we checked in, uh, not much was done in the way of finishing stuff. So we've gotten all paint uh, done in here. Uh, we still have some touching up to do with the paint and I might do a second coat. Some of the, the paint we got didn't quite uh, cover as well as we'd hoped. And I still have some of the ceiling to do. Um, you can see it's kind of done there and not done here. So a little bit left of, of that um, to do still. Uh, I've got both of the custom doors completed here and I did do a separate video on those and they turned out really well for my first time really doing a, a custom door like this, uh, cutting it and, and shaping it and making the frame and all that good stuff. It turned out pretty well. The process was fairly simple and straightforward to do and the doors were pretty cheap. So, and I, I think they look pretty good. Um, the, they still have some trim work to do and, and things like that. Um, obviously we'll do that last and uh, get paint on those as well. So, um, so closet doors, uh, fixtures and all that good stuff are, are all done. Um, the day bed area, drywalling and painting is all completed. So all this whole area was drywalled, uh, mudded and, and painted. Uh, again, my, my least favorite thing to do, but uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, it's not perfect. Uh, but uh, the corners I think turned out pretty well. The, the worst part I think is these, uh, and here's a good example, the transitions between these, the smooth you know, corner that I did with the drywall here and then the textured ceiling. Uh, you can't see it unless you really look at it because of the white paint. And once you step back a little bit, but I notice it and it's kind of annoying. So I don't really know how a good, a good way to transition from this smooth, uh, you know, drywall mud to, to texture. But uh, so that is what it is. Um, but uh, it turned out pretty well. It turned out better than, better than I hoped. So uh, all of the electrical is completed. Uh, I've got the junction box back here and I'll put another coat of paint on that. That's covered up. That's where all the electrical tied into the old outlet that used to be on that wall. And then I moved that outlet um, up here and that's all wired and completed as well, um, as well as the lights in the closets. And I'll show you those. And so these are motion lights, um, which are pretty cool so far. I think this is gonna be a nice uh, little money saver in the long term. I'm sick of, um, I don't know, you guys have kids that turn, turn lights on and leave them on all over? Seems to be what happens here anyway. So um, I'm always turning lights off, but uh, this stuff here will be all covered up by uh, trim. So you won't see these screws. But uh, this, this is the uh, motion sensing outlet or a uh, light switch here. And you can just use it as a regular switch um, or as a motion. And you can set it for different settings. Um, I'll put a link to these in the description. I actually got all these on Amazon. Uh, they're a pretty good deal. I mean, they're a little, they're more expensive than regular cheap old switches, of course, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, these are, uh, they, they come on when they sense motion, stay on for about five minutes, and then they turn off automatically. And you can set that to like 10, 15, 20, or 30 minutes, I believe, as far as, you know, how long you want them to stay on. And uh, they work really well. So, and I've got the, um, all the light socket uh, mounted up in here and all that. Um, there, there's different lights I'm gonna put in here. They're low profile lights that are made for this kind of a, uh, like an angled ceiling. And so it will only stick out to um, like right here instead of all the way out there. Um, there's plenty of space in between the ceiling. I know it doesn't look like it, but there is. Um, so everything in here is, is all done. Drywall, mud and tape and you know, all that good stuff. Um, might be some touch-up paint to do in here, but uh, everything turned out uh, pretty well. So I also did a separate video on these smart lights that I'm using in here. Um, this, the idea that this room is going to be kind of a modern room or kind of a smart room. Uh, I'm going to be doing some other things with the electrical outlets, the USB charging stations and stuff like that. But uh, these are smart lights. So this light here and this light here 
are individually controllable. Um, again, I did a different video on that, these uh, smart lights that I got, and I'll put a link in the description to those as always for these uh, smart lights that I'm using. But uh, I can't dem really demonstrate them because I'm actually recording from my phone right now. But uh, these are multicolored lights. You can change any color. You can uh, turn that one on. Say if you've got somebody sleeping in the day bed, you want to leave that one on and turn this one off. You can do that individually now. Uh, you have more control of them. And it's all done from your, from your phone or tablet. So um, pretty cool. And they also work as regular, regular lights as well. But uh, that's pretty much where we're at uh, right now with everything. And I apologize about the lighting here. It's kind of bright coming from the window. Um, so what's left to do? Um, some minor touch-up stuff, a little bit of finish of painting. The big project next is the flooring. I talked about this before, I'm gonna do plywood flooring. And so we're just kind of gathering the resources together and getting started with that. Um, that will be next. And I'll do a one, I'll do a final walkthrough on this whole room once I have the uh, flooring completed, the door completed, and all the minor little things done. And uh, everything will be, uh, will be 100% at that point. So you can see the, the transformation. But this is going to work out really well, I think, for the kids. Um, there'll be a lot of extra space in this room. And the closets, uh, you know, I'll have more work to do in there. Still uh, putting up curtain rod or whatever closed rod or whatever you want to call it and a shelf in here um, that will pretty much finish these off and uh, but the being able to have the closets in this room is going to make a huge difference for my uh, oldest daughter who's been living without a closet for a few years so but hopefully this uh you found this interesting interesting or informational i uh wanted just to kind of do a quick update so uh, if you guys have questions about the process or things I'm doing, or if I left something out, let me know. Um, if you guys have a lot, I know a lot of people have bonus rooms like this, and so I thought I would share the, the, the update and, and the construction and renovation project with this. So uh, hopefully you get some ideas. But uh, questions, comments, throw them below, guys. And uh, always hit thumbs up on the video if you appreciated it. I, I know I appreciate it when you hit thumbs up, so it makes a big difference for me. And subscribe if you want to follow along. We'll do more updates on this and lots of other stuff coming down the... Uh, down the tubes here. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.